today is the uh, iBiomed showcase, which is the culmination of the past year that our students have been furiously working away at their courses, whether they're in level two, level one, three, four, all the way up to their, their final thesis or capstone. And so really it's all about showcasing everything that makes this program great, uh, which is the students. Our team name is Hydro Medical, and we designed a uh, injectable hydrogel for chemotherapeutic drug delivery. So we're a mixed group of materials and chemical engineering students. We had some people who were familiar with chemical engineering concepts, some with materials engineering concepts, and had to build some communication between all of us to make that happen. This year uh, in chemical engineering, we learned about optimization as well as big data modeling. And this was something that was very new to like, all of us. So we had to kind of take that knowledge that we like, were just learning in class and then apply it pretty quickly. Well, what type of jobs can our alumni or our students have, uh, both as co-ops and just uh, when they graduate? The students that I know uh, that they've worked in biomedical fields or more biomedical side of things, but uh, a lot of students uh, go back into more traditional engineering. So yes, it is a biomedical program, but the skills can be applied so widely because the problem solving skills and, and, and the engineering skills uh, is broadly applicable. And we are all fifth year HESI students. We've been working on this project for about two years now and it's called the Manipulette. A lot of times when patients are undergoing a surgical procedure or otherwise unable to sort of breathe for themselves, they undergo endotracheal intubation, which is essentially the insertion of a tube into the patient's airway. The physicians cannot always get this bend accurately on the first try, and this can take them multiple attempts, which can increase the adverse events rate. And so we really wanted to address this problem by creating a device that's both flexible and manipulable within the patient's body so that the physician doesn't have to remove the tube and can, we can essentially improve patient outcomes in that way. Uh, our program really kind of prepared us, giving us the resources to almost fail effectively, being able to like learn from our mistakes. We've come a long way from that only because we were able to test our prototype, uh, fail at it, and you know learn from those failures and actually iterate our design using what we've learned from that. The iBioMed program is super unique. We focus on the hands-on projects, and what that does is future-proofs the skill sets that the students pick up. So it's all about teamwork and collaboration and problem solving and skill sets that you can't pick up from, from a textbook. Our project here is MyMS and our group took the approach of building a at-home testing device for multiple sclerosis patients and people who think that they're at risk. We noticed that one of the big gaps in the space of multiple sclerosis is diagnosis and testing. So what we've basically designed is an EMG testing system that anyone can use at home and over time this can be used to screen regularly for multiple sclerosis, hopefully uh, ensuring that healthcare professionals can diagnose it earlier and treat can, treatment can be more effective. So some of the skills that I think are really valuable that we've learned through this program are really the abilities to take aspects from different sciences and aspects from uh, even different courses and combine them in a way that's truly interdisciplinary. Uh, I think it's really valuable to be able to connect the skills that we've learned in all of our different science classes together to make something like this. Uh, so I think that's something that the program has really taught us how to do effectively. Our team is called The Cleaning Crew and we are presenting a synthetic biology solution to a common problem being cavities. We are using an E. coli strand called E. coli nizil 1917, uh, transfected with a plasmid that can both detect and kill the predominant cavity causing bacteria being S. mutants. I think the iBioMed program greatly caters to people who are unsure with what they want to do with their future just yet. I was unsure whether I wanted to choose engineering or pursue the health sciences route and by choosing iBio I was able to explore both at the same time, gaining that engineering knowledge, gaining that health sciences knowledge, and using that to combine and pursue a career that is able to integrate both of these seamlessly. The average iBioMed student, the sort of applicant that we really look for, is someone who is hungry for knowledge, who really has a passion for healthcare, is interested in design and engineering, who is excited to learn and who comes to campus every day with that spark of creativity, and is someone who who can move between disciplines, who is interested in engineering and business and really has a passion for creating a difference in people's lives, making meaningful change for consumers, for patients, for physicians, and for people all across the field of healthcare. 